Hey everyone, it's Average Gatsby, and welcome back to my soldier guide. Uh, entitling this video, uh, Soldiering 110, Your Assault Rifles. Uh, this is going to be just sort of me talking about your assault rifles, what you have access to both uh, before and after the accuracy upgrades. And I'm going to be taking the three main assault rifles, the Avenger, the Vindicator, and the uh, Collector Assault Rifle. Now, right away, we'll start off with the Avenger. You'll notice early game, it's it's fairly accurate. All, all assault rifles aren't too inaccurate, but it does have a lot of recoil. Uh, your adrenaline rush really helps you out with that and helps you to deal with the recoil. Uh, but it is a, a rapid-fire weapon, so you're not necessarily uh, maximizing your damage boost when you're using your adrenaline rush with it. But not having the gun bounce up and down is really helpful. You'll just notice that even though you have so much ammo, uh, you do miss quite a bit. And look right there, uh, with the Adrenaline Rush, it's really nice. You can really set up for those headshots. You'll notice I'm trying to get examples of both long, uh, medium, and short range here with the Assault Rifle. I'm just trying to show the Assault Rifle in every circumstance. But what's nice about this weapon is that you can lay down a lot of firepower, uh, a lot of bullets, uh, very quickly. So if you have a, a status-affecting weapon, like Disruptor Ammo or Cryo Ammo, you uh, this is really a good gun for that. It is inaccurate, though. It's the least accurate of all these assault rifles, and it has the most recoil. And you do have the problem with uh, firing from the hip. That gun is absolutely terrible at firing from the hip, so you don't want to do it. And here we have the uh, Vindicator. Before the accuracy upgrade, it's also pretty bad at firing from the hip. But mainly because you really don't want to miss with this gun. This gun is unquestionably the best damage dealer uh, when it comes to pure damage. Uh, this gun is amazing, but it runs out of ammo very quickly, and so that is going to force you, if you're predominantly using this weapon, uh, to move around and try to get ammo for it. And it's always uh, very painful when you miss a shot. Uh, so in that in that way, you don't want to be firing uh, when just from the hip. You always want to be aiming down sights with this weapon, and you really want to make every bullet count. You know, as you can see, there's still plenty of enemies left, and I don't even have enough for two clips at this point. I've got to go and get some more ammo. Um, at closer range, you can uh, fire it from the hip and hit him, but it's still not very effective. I can think of basically no situations where early game you want to fire this weapon from the hip, because the main strength of this weapon is going into cover and firing it and using its supreme accuracy to uh, get the headshots. So if you don't mind not having the ammo, this is definitely the strongest weapon to use, but it may not be the best weapon for you, just depending on how you use your assault rifle. And finally we have the collector assault rifle. Uh, this gun is kind of a, a strange mix between the Vindicator and the Avenger. It has a good fire rate, uh, but per bullet, it's not that much more damage than the Avenger, but it does have a slower rate of fire. In fact, if you never missed with any of your bullets, uh, this would kill things the slowest, but if you were just shooting a stationary target. But the real advantage with this weapon is it has zero recoil, and it doesn't matter how much you hold on the trigger, the bullets always, the, uh, your targeting reticle always stays the same. As you can see right there, I'm, f I'm holding down full auto, and nothing's even bouncing around. I mean, this weapon is just, it's very easy to use, and so it's easy to line up those, uh, headshots over and over again with this gun. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not comparing the Geth Pulse Rifle, it's because the Geth Pulse Rifle is kind of a mixture between the Collector and the Avenger, and because you get it so late in the game, uh, I don't recommend as a soldier you do Tally's mission until after you've already done Samara and Thane's mission. Um, by the time you get it, you know, you've already kind of decided and you've probably figured out the soldier class by then, so you can use it if you want. I just think it's an upgraded, a slightly upgraded adventure, uh, but I don't think it's as good as the Collector Assault Rifle uh, for the same reasons why I like it, because I like the accuracy combined with the fire rate. You know, it's a good medium. Uh, the Collector is my personal favorite, but it is not the best, you know, don't get me wrong. So now we're switching back to the Avenger, and this is post-accuracy upgrade. And as you can see, 
all of these weapons are now extremely accurate, uh, but the Avenger still suffers from its large recoil. So if you're able to always use it with your adrenaline rush on, it's fantastic. And you know, all the assault rifles are good in this game. All the weapons are good in this game. But as you can see, it still has major issues firing from the hip. I mean, its targeting uh, reticle still goes huge, even with the accuracy upgrade, and it goes huge very quickly. So you really want to be firing from cover and firing while you're aiming. And uh, if you hold down the trigger, it's best to aim low on the body so that the bullets rise up to the head and uh, not just aiming for the head right away. So it does, you know, it's able to put out a lot of bullets out there. It has a great sound effect, puts out a lot of damage, um, but it's not really my favorite. It, it, It's just too, uh, it's a little bit tricky to use with the bullets just bouncing all over the place if, if you want to do more than just shoot when your adrenaline rush is on. And just meleeing her to death right there. Uh, we'll switch over to the Vindicator now. After the accuracy upgrade, I mean, this weapon is crazy accurate. It, all the bullets go exactly uh, where you want them to, and uh, it makes this weapon a lot more viable for hip fire than before. Uh, I do like to use this weapon uh, firing from the hip after the accuracy upgrade when I get in sort of a, a medium to close range setting. It's really nice, and look how accurate it is even when I'm not locked into cover. I mean, you still have the same, and right there I'm firing from the hip, and as you can see, it, you know, there's very little recoil, excellent accuracy, uh, just a fantastic weapon. Its main flaw is its ammo use, so, you know, if you're concerned about firing, if you miss a lot, you know, maybe this isn't the weapon for you. Because as you can see right here, I mean, I, I did run out of ammo before, uh, before I could finish her off, so I do have to come in there and use my melee, but... You know, it's just something to keep in mind. You, you've you got to make all your shots count, and it's up to you to decide whether ammo, having a lot of ammo, is important to you or not. And then finally, the collector assault rifle. Look how accurate this weapon is. I mean, it's it's just, it's pretty close to the accuracy of the Vindicator, and yet you're able to keep it on full auto mode. I mean, notice how I'm firing from the hip right there. Or, not firing from the hip, but I'm just firing aiming normally, not using Adrenaline Rush, and I have almost zero recoil. It's uh, it's really great. I, I'd say that this weapon probably benefits from Adrenaline Rush the least out of all the weapons. And right here, as you can see, it's a really nice uh, hip-firing weapon. I fire this weapon from the hip all the time. It, uh, it just... It has that medium between, you know, spraying and praying, which is usually what you're doing when you're firing from the hip. And yet, uh, I don't feel like every shot has to absolutely count like it does with the Vindicator, you know, or I'm making a mistake. Now, you know, you trade that off for just having a little bit less damage per second, but to me, you know, you can... It's not that big a difference. The biggest difference is between the Vindicator and the other two weapons, but between this weapon and the Avenger, I, I don't think it's a significant difference, really. And right here, I'm just able to move in there, fire point blank, and finish her off. Anyway, I'm Average Gatsby. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, please rate, comment, subscribe, give me any feedback you like. I try to read everything. And have a great day.